Okay, this is part two for Komodo Internet Security uh, Defense Plus Testing Prevention. I'm going to load my fourth URL here. And this was caught by the antivirus engine. fifth URL uh, this was caught by defense plus something is trying to rot uh, something's trying to rot something's trying to write to uh, the win logon user init key I'll go ahead and block that request again trying to run trying to write to user init block it it's trying to drop a file in system32 ntos.exe block it uh, this is different parent application is accessing target application in memory uh, this kind of, uh, yeah. block that Okay, that's number five. This is number six. This looks like a fake Microsoft update. Block that request. It's trying to drop a root kit looks like or is trying to in the registry block that um, let's see this is trying to access the services we'll go ahead and block that it's trying to connect to the internet via port 80 we'll block that well, this is a biggie trying to write to the registry block it Take a look at my processes. Let's see. It's funny. I see these executables here, which would indicate that they're on my system. And this is the part I'm a little confused about. Defense Plus should have blocking rules so that they aren't allowed to do anything but yet their executables may be on the system or in memory. That's something I gotta confirm. Okay, URL number seven. Another defense alert. It's trying to contact the service control manager. I'll block that request. Trying to dump something inside of uh, temporary files. Block that. Block this. Okay. Last URL, this would be eight. Uh, it's trying to drop a big old long, looks like a piece of undo there. We'll block that. Okay, it looks like that's it. Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'm back, and as you can see, these two files here are um, still in memory. They're running as a process, and I'm not totally for sure. I think that once I reboot, they would just be gone permanently. But if I take a look under View Active Process List, I'd just like to go ahead and make sure that uh, I can terminate and block them. 
I don't have to deal with them anymore. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot and take a look at the system and make sure it's functioning okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm back after that reboot, and just as I thought, um, those files are just in memory from us dealing with uh, adding them to my blocked files. Um, when we add something to my blocked files, um, Komodo basically puts them in kind of, I guess you could call it like a sandbox. They're on my system. These two files are on my system, but they're not allowed to do a single thing. I'm not allowed to even do anything to them really. If I would remove them from here, um, chances are they could run amok if you double clicked on them or something and then you'd have to uh, go over the same kind of defense plus alerts. But um, what I do is I pretty much just keep them here in my block files and just pretty much forget them. They're not allowed to do anything. If you take a look at the help file on my blocked files it says Defense Plus allows you to lock down files and folders by completely denying all access rights to them from other processes or users, effectively cutting it off from the rest of the system. So, uh, if we block an executable, then neither you nor anything else would be allowed to run that program. So, that's kind of how I'm interpreting it, unless somebody else tells me otherwise, but system seems to be running fine. Uh, if I get on the internet I can search for whatever I want. The usual hijacked searches. Internet's fast and responds just fine. So I just wanted to get back with Komodo and, and kind of show everybody that their prevention module, Defense Plus, is uh, stunning. I love the way it works. It just, you know, it, it is, it does require you to be sort of smart a little bit. You know, if you're downloading something and you don't know what it is, just block it. Do some research on it, and then you can unblock it. So... I just uh, want to show everybody that. I hope you liked uh, this little demo of Defense Plus. Uh, Komodo Internet Security is a free internet security application, and it's completely solid. And I hear they're going to go ahead and add a uh, heuretics package um, to their antivirus, which will greatly increase their antivirus effectiveness. Um, but I really don't care about their antivirus all that much. I just hope that they keep up with uh, Defense Plus, um, since that's really the future of things. You know, protect your file system, protect your registry keys, and um, say goodbye to malware. So, anyway, that's it for me tonight. I gotta go ahead and upload this. Talk to you guys later.